What's up guys, this is Jordan here with Objective C Doros, Lesson 7, Constants. Now you may be saying, what in the world is constants? Well, they're just expressions that have a fixed value. So we've been using them this whole time that we've been programming. When we declare an int uh, and then declare or then assign the value 7 to int a, we've been using constants right there. Now when you code int a equals 7, you're really coding literals and uh, a string literal is what you put in after the at sign in between the quotes that whole thing right there that's a string literal now if you want to display a quote or a double quote quote or a backslash in a string literal you just have to use a backslash before the item so backslash single quote backslash double quote and backslash backslash now um, there's two different types of constants. The first is a declared constant, and it is just const. Now, you declare the const of a specific type in the same way as you do with the variables. So, just forget about the const in front of these two lines of code, and it's just a regular declaration. Int a const int equals 53. And then you add that const in front of that regular declaration. Now, a const int and a const float are two different types of constants. So, like I said, you're just adding a const in between these two different types of declarations of variables. Now, they're just like regular variables, except their values can't be changed. So that's what makes a constant so um, different from a variable, just a regular variable. So they can't be changed after they've been declared and initialized. So this would be used in code if you have uh, some value that you're going to be multiplying stuff by kind of like a tax rate I guess and you're going to be doing a lot of math along with it and you don't want to somehow accidentally do a math operate um, operation on this constant which yeah, I know it hasn't been a constant yet but this number um, you'd make it into a constant so there's no way it can be changed and uh, won't cause any bugs in your program now the best solution for constants is a defined constant and these are usually placed in a single file where you can easily and quickly access all of them now the setup is pound define and this allows you to define names for the constants you use and the total setup is pound define the identifier and then the value so you see pound define a define int 42 and then down below the pound define a define float 42.00 now they're not objective C statements so they don't need um, a semicolon and when the preprocessor encounters a pound define it replaces it with the values you specified so this would be like if you were uh, I guess with the tax rate again but if it was on a larger scale and you wanted to have all the tax rates of every state in the United States you put it all in one single file and then wherever you are in the program and you need to use it you could just be like New York tax rate and then it would put in that tax rate so um, and if you're doing other math operations with it good to always have a define because you don't want to accidentally do an operator on this value and then change it in the program and then it'll cause lots of bugs and you don't know what's happening so Use defines when needed. Now we'll be going into Xcode to code some constants.